So this is Moto G62 and the number keeps increasing. We just saw G32 some days back and this is G62 5G. So we will not stretch this video but quickly try to understand Moto G62 and this whole Moto G series and most importantly it's a 5G phone and 5G spectrum is done. So what 5G phone to buy? What bands to look in a 5G phone? So we'll talk all of it. This is Prateek, you're already watching TechWiser and we make such helpful videos. If you dig that, subscribe and join the fam. I'm going to write a subscribe rap someday, someday. And again, it's a big box, same phone, case. But in G62, you get a 20 watt charger with this and same type A to type C cable, paperwork, budget SIM ejector tool. But the phone looks like a Motorola phone. All recently launched G series phone have the same kind of design lately. This subtle M logo and even this camera module is sleek. And of course you get plastic bag, plastic frame, but this thing has sort of a matte glossy finish. Like it's reflective, but you don't see that many fingerprints. Also, you get a headphone jack, flagship feature and a hybrid SIM card slot, which is like two SIM cards or one SIM plus one micro SD card. Now the SD card slot is expandable up to one TB. Now my question to you guys is, is there a one TB micro SD card yet? Let's see how much you guys know tech. Just don't Google, don't cheat. Now on the front, you get a 6.5 inch 120Hz IPS LCD display. It is a full HD display and it's not one-handed, but not even huge, somewhere in between. But people like watching on a big display. I just wish they gave the volume button down or on the opposite side. It would be much more reachable. By the way, you get a physical fingerprint scanner, which is ah, fast. Also, you get Panda Glass protection, which Motorola says is equal to Corning Gorilla Glass 3. And these days, I see most of the Moto phones in the budget or overall have stereo speakers, which is nice. It is quite unique because not many smartphones in this price range have stereo speakers. It's loud and it's like 60-70% of the sound is coming from the bottom speaker, but I like this stereo speaker trend on budget phones. Now you get Snapdragon 695 with Moto G62, 6GB LPDDR4X RAM. Now you also have an 8GB RAM version, 128GB UMCP storage, which is equal to UFS 2.1. And if you don't know UMCP storage, well, we ran the read and write test and the storage is as fast for what you get in this price range. Now we'll play Apex Legends because you buy a phone to game, right? Now you get very high frame rates on smooth graphics, which is like 50 FPS. It, settings are quite different than BGMI. Now for 50 FPS, the gameplay was good. There are a bit of frame drops here and there, but no overheating. Overall, good performance for the price. And for cameras, you get a 50 megapixel main sensor. And the photos from the main camera come out decent. They are sharp. I noticed that in portrait mode photos, there is a slight red tint. Non-human photos were good. And even on the main camera, you can record only up to 1080p 30 FPS. Also, you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, which is good from a ultra wide angle perspective. And of course, of course, you have a two megapixel macro camera. Also, the front camera is 16 megapixel and you get the option to record up to 1080p 30 FPS. And the selfies were good, real life colors, good. So for the price, you don't get really mind blowing camera and this is also decent. Now you get clean stock Android, Android 12 and Moto G62, there are no preloaded apps, absolutely clean. And even in day-to-day -day usage, the overall speed and smoothness of the UI is pretty good. And even the app opening speed is good. Now, just like other Moto G series launches in 2022, you get an assured Android update to Android 13 and three years of security update. Rest, you get all those classic useful features like chop chop to flash, Turn it off and twist your hand to open the camera, all of that. And you get a 5000mAh battery, you only get 20 watt charging. So it takes about 1 hour 30 minutes to 45 minutes to charge 100%. And you get all the important sensor, gyro, compass, etc. Also you get 12 bands of 5G in India. Now there is a lot of confusion on 5G bands in India. See, recently the 5G auction is done and the most important 5G bands in India as of now are N1, N8, N28, N77, N78. Now there is also one band N258, but that is used for commercial purposes and no phone in India supports N258. So it's important now to check for those five 5G bands if you buy a 5G phone right now. And Moto G62 has all those five 5G bands and overall 12 5G bands. So now if you're anywhere in India, 
you will get 5G with this phone, not just metro cities. Also, you get 4G plus carrier aggregation in this. I checked it with my Geo SIM. Now, the Moto G62 costs 17999 and you get a HDFC card discount of 1750 So if you use that, the price comes down to 16249 And same, it also gets that Geo SIM card cashback offer of 100 rupees every month up until 4000 It's for both new and existing Geo SIM card user. In case you have a Geo SIM, why not use it? Who doesn't like cashback? So this is Basic signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew, pew.